boy hunter. I just walked straight past the deer. Hunter turned me around, pointed me in the right direction, and there was a deer just looking at me. I got him. It's just a little yelling. I'm out hunting today. It's just me and the dog, Hunter. Yep, that's him. And we've been bush stalking all day. Managed to pick up one yearling, uh, nothing else seen. Well, I just lost my bloody glasses. I spent about 10 minutes scrambling around the bush looking for them and I went a bit further than I thought they would have gone and I found them, bloody things. Right down here, would have been an expensive little mistake. That's one hot dog. Just walking to the car now, ended up with just the, the one yearling. As you can see it's a main day, hardly any clouds. Hopefully the weather stays like this because I'm heading into the Ruahenis tomorrow. Good morning, I'm Cam and this is Richard. Good morning. We're heading into the Ruahinis. It's got some mean weather, not a cloud in the sky. Hopefully we can find a velvet stag or anything to get us some venison. So it should be awesome. All right, let's go. Quick update. We spotted a yearling and I shot that. And a velvet stag has walked out at 470 yards, so Richard and I are just closing the distance. The velvet stag has disappeared, which is a bugger, so. We just got to be patient and hopefully he comes back out. There's my one. Well, we had no luck on that velvet stag. Unfortunately, we went over there and it was gone. So we've come back to retrieve my yearling that I shot. It was about a hundred meter shot. I just shot it from kneeling because I couldn't find a rest. But it dropped on the spot, which is cool, so we have some venison down for the weekend. We're going to quickly bone this up and carry on and see if Richard can shoot a deer next. <laughs> Richard uh, spotted a yearling before he shot that another one walked out so we both had a chance so what happened richard uh we got one each which is great Two. yep yep prime venison so yep we'll head on off and grab them yeah. nice Three, yep. two, one. Deer number one it's nine o'clock it's just about to get dark so we'll quickly bone them out, get the meat in the bags, and head on back to the tents. There's Richard. <laughs> Richard's removing the back stakes. Saw that our dead deer landed on top of this old stake head. Looks like a 10 pointer or something. Maybe an eight. Well, what an exciting morning. Richard and I, excuse me boy, we woke up, crack of dawn, we were walking up the river and we managed to catch out a velvet stag. Yeah, we managed to catch out a velvet stag that was feeding and we shot him. Little 
six pointer in velvet. Well, um, here's our stag of this morning. Uh, we've got a crack of dawn and two shots to the chest. He didn't go too far, so that's great. And now we've got a big job ahead to pop the sky up. Not very often Richard and I manage to shoot an easy deer like this, so it's a bit of a treat. Deer number five for the trip. Another yearling. Well, we just shot one more deer. That brings our total for this trip to five deer. Uh, that's two velvet stags and three yearlings. Well, this is the last day of our trip. We walked in on a Thursday, it's now Saturday, but we can't carry any more than five deer between us. So we're out of here.